live from DTV Studios. This is DTV News, DHS's news source. Good morning, Davidson. Today is finally Monday, January 22nd, 2007. I'm Brett Schooley, here with Freddie Odishu, and now it is time for your high school report. Tomorrow, students will be taking exams in first, third, and fifth hours. Wednesday, students will have a break from exams with a regular delay day. And then Thursday, students will be back to testing mode as they take fourth, or second, fourth, and sixth hour exams. Students, will need to, students who would like to be immortalized in the senior slideshow should bring your snapshots to share with the memorable part of the senior year. The pictures need to be brought to Kayla Banyas or Amanda Snyder as soon as possible. Davison Community Enrichment and Re Recreation has announced a speed and agility training program for students of all ages. Pay just $55 and learn to correct athletic position, mobility, balance, running techniques, and proper lateral movements. Contact Community Ed for more information. Any student interested in auditioning? For a choir next year, must sign up for an audition time in the choir room. All auditions are after school today. Next Monday, January 29th, as well as Tuesday, January 30th, and Thursday, February 1st, be sure to sign up today. United Way of Genesee County has announced a poster contest for all young artists in grades 5 through 12. The winning poster will be used during the United Way's community fundraising campaign. Information packets are available in the Career Center. The ski and snowboarders will be traveling by bus to Mr. Holly. The bus leaves from in front of the school at 245 from between the Alton building and the cafeteria. Students who need to purchase a ticket need and rental cards need to miss not in room 345. Drama Club has re rehearsal today at 3 in the choir. And then officers, officers of Drama Club will have a mandatory meeting tomorrow at 3 in the two, room 248. Big Brothers and Big Sisters of Greater Flint are having their annual Bowling Challenge fundraiser February 21st through February 25th, 2007. This important fundraiser helps strengthen Big Brothers Big Sisters efforts to provide friendship and positive role modeling for, of caring adults to children in the Genesee County. Anyone interested in helping to raise money for the great cause, please call Angie Murphy in the Big Brothers Big Sisters office at 810-235 seven two two five community service hours will be rewarded for your participation co-op students need to meet wednesday morning in the quad bring in any and all late time sheets and assignments through the ho though the holiday season is behind us people in our community are still enjoying the benefits of the year's care and share program DTC dtv's melissa harris explains Right before the holiday season, the Davidson Community Schools gathered cans for their annual Care and Share program. But not only were the students giving, they were also learning some valuable lessons about life. Uh, there's a couple lessons to be learned when we do Care and Share. Most importantly, we are helping the needy in our own county, but it's also teaching the lesson to our own students uh, about caring for others and community service. But was the turnout at Davidson High School as successful as years past? Oh yeah, this year has been great. Uh, I mean, we've really seen a lot of things uh, coming in. Um, a lot of teachers and classes have really jumped on board. And even the ones that aren't in the co competition have realized that it's not just about the winning, that it's just, just to help. And you know, uh, I know some people really get into the competition and others don't, They just but they, they realize bringing in a can or two makes a difference. And so we are seeing a lot of things come in this year and we're really happy about that. Not only did the high school have an awesome turnout, the middle school did as well. We uh, raised close to 5,600 cans and money and that's outstanding when our goal was at 2,700 and students really were um, impressed and they took it on themselves to take over the program and run it and it's just outstanding how much they cared about the community and helping out.
This program was not only collecting cans, as you may think, they were also collecting items needed for everyday life. Uh, we're collecting any kind of food item um, or personal care item, uh, anything from we've got baby food and canned milk to uh, SpaghettiOs and pudding and desserts and uh, vegetables and uh, boxed meals. All the items collected goes toward families in the Davison community. Melissa Harris, DTV News. A party dress and prom sale sponsored by Flushing's Moms who care in this Saturday at Flushing High School from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you have dresses that you would like to sell, bring them the night before. The cost to sell a dress is $5, and you are able to set your own price and reap the profits. This will be a great opportunity to buy the dr that dress for the Sadie's Dance. That will be here before you know it. Speaking of the Sadie's Dance, guest forms are available in the main office. If your date attends a different high school or has graduated, you must have a guest from complete and sign by Mr. Brown. Don't wait until the last minute. The deadline is February 2nd. Your high school report is over. But now we'll take a commercial break and come back to Zach Hall on the sports desk for your DTV Sports. It's the Monday before midterms, and I'm Zach Hall with a longer edition of your DTV Sports, which will give you that recommended sports news that is essential to start an any school week. The boys' basketball team traveled to the Hornets High Friday as they played school rival Kersley. The Cards held control of the game throughout the entire night, even scoring 31 points in one period alone. The team was the definite winner of Friday's game and deserves an enormous congratulations for the win. And I'm going to be the first one to congratulate you. Congratulations. The girls' bowling team continued their winning ways on Saturday by defeating Grand Blank. The final score left Davison with 27 points and with Grand Blank with 8. Individual high scores were Samantha Deaton with 213, Danielle Lear with 204, and Christine McInerney with 194. The Davison Kersley boys swim team finished fourth at the county meet the which was the highest finish in the last three years. It was an outstanding performance by Jeff Shade, who placed first on the 200 freestyle and 500 freestyle, with a Division I qualifying time in the 500 freestyle. Alex McCombs, a Davison freshman, also had a great day, finishing ninth in the 200 freestyle and fifth in the 500 freestyle. Both swimmers were also members of the 200 freestyle relay, which had an MSCA qualifying time. Congratulations to all of the Davison swimmers. And the girls' varsity volleyball team is a home against Grand Blank tonight. All the action starts at 7 p.m. PM, and if the weather keeps you from coming, watch it live on Channel 19 at 7. Well, that's it for your DTV Sports. Good luck to everyone taking red terms this week, and we hope to see you back on the sports desk next week. Now back to Brett and Freddie with the rest of your news. Thanks, Zach. Hurley Hospital is starting another volunteer training program for students 15 years of age and older and in grades 10, 11, or 12. Stop by the Career Center to pick up registration information from Mrs. Horning. Registration deadline is Monday, January 22nd, and spaces are limited. Any student who needs community service hours or NHS hours should consider working the youth wrestling tournament next Saturday, January 27th, here at Davidson High School. Three time slots are available between 8.45 a.m. and 5.30 p.m. Sign up in this Alders Room 302 by Wednesday, January 24th, 2007. 
The University of Michigan Flint has announced a winter schedule for the Reading Center. The Reading Center provides a special opportunity for kindergarten through 12th grade students to receive individualized instruction in reading. The cost of this program is $95 and there are a limited number of scholarships available based on demonstrated need. Reading Center applicant applications are available in the guidance office. You wake up with the DTV crew every morning, and now it's your turn to run the show and become a part of one of the best student news stations in the state. But don't think this is a class, just another A on your report card. DTV is a program that requires both in-school and out-of-school dedication. If you believe that DTV is a class for you, stop into the DTV room during first and second hour or into the guidance office all day to get an application. Grab one as soon as possible. Applications are due Wednesday, January 31st. Well, that's it for today's edition of DTV News. I'm Freddie Odershoe. And I'm Brett Schooley. Have a great day, DHS, and stay strong for midterms.